This is a cancer tumor. And this is a map of the Russian occupational forces invading Ukraine. Russia is cancer on the continent's body. But the metastasis of the Russian tumor have spread not only to Ukraine. Russian special services finance and infiltrate their agents in every single international organization. UNESCO are closing their eyes to the destruction of cultural monuments and historical antiquities in Crimea and Ukraine. Until this day they haven't excluded Russia from their organization and are going to hold their next session in this terrorist country. The International Committee of the Red Cross, being constantly financed from Russia, sabotaged their own work in Ukraine. Under the disguise of help, they contribute to forced deportation of Ukrainians from the fighting zone to Russia, basically handing Ukrainians to their enemies, who organize filtration camps for Ukrainians on the Russian territory. OSCE this respected organization hasn't noticed the atrocities of the Russian army and separatists on temporary occupied Ukrainian territories for eight years and still hasn't excluded Russia from their ranks. IAEA Till this day haven't dismissed their workers with Russian citizenship or other connections to Russian entities at all. Perhaps, thanks to the work of the saboteurs as part of the IAEA, Russian troops captured several Ukrainian nuclear power plants, including Chernobyl, made ammunition depots there, and fired at the civilian Ukrainian population from there. UN still haven't excluded the Russian Federation as its member state. Although legally, Russia should not be there at all. The USSR was a member of the UN, but nobody ever voted for including Russia into it. Besides, the UN doesn't even consider the possibility of saving millions of lives by deploying its peacekeepers which leads to terrible consequences not only for Ukraine, but for the whole of Europe. Remember, everyone receiving money from Russia is an accomplice of world terrorism. You think money doesn't smell? Oh no, it reeks of blood of tens of thousands Ukrainians and their children for miles.